Good morning and welcome as you join us on another gloriously sunny day here in Canterbury for our benefit morning prayer for St Dunstan's, St Mildred's and St Peter's. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector, the Reverend Joe. Joe. The Reverend Joe is away at the moment on a, a well-deserved break with her family. Today in the Church of England, we commemorate the uh, Brid Bridget of Sweden, the Abbess of Vastena. And you'll notice from my memory I'm going to read from the book. Bridget's father was governor of Upland when she was born in about the year 1303. She married at the age of 14, had eight children and often attended the royal court where she continued to experience the mystical revelations she had known since childhood. These increased in intensity after her husband's death and three years later she responded by founding a monastery for nuns and monks at Vadstena in 1346. Bridget's daughter, uh, Catherine, was the first abbess of the so-called Brigentine Order, which became very influential in Northern Europe. After travelling to Rome to obtain the Pope's approval for her plans, Bridget never returned to Sweden, but spent the rest of her life as a pilgrim, an advisor to rulers and church leaders, and a minister to all in need. Her revelations were recorded by her confessors before her death, which occurred on this day in 1373. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. A song of God's blessing from Psalm 67. God be gracious to us and bless us, and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let the peoples praise you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 143 is, Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, 
for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me. My heart within me is desolate. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. I remember the time past. I muse upon all your deeds. I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. In your faith, faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. The refrain from Psalm 146 is the Lord shall reign forever. The Lord shall reign forever. Alleluia. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, I will praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forward, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. The Lord shall reign forever. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord shall reign forever. The Lord looses those that are bound. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. The Lord shall reign forever. Lord of all, our breath and being come from you, yet our earthly end is dust. As you loose the, the bound and feed the hungry, so bring us in your mercy through the grave and gate of death to the feast of eternal life, where you reign forevermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A 
Our first reading this morning is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 8. When Samuel became old, he made his sons judges over Israel. The name of his firstborn son was Joel, and the name of his second was Abijah. They were judges in Beersheba. Yet his sons did not follow his ways, but turned aside after gain. They took bribes and perverted justice. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together and came to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, You are old and your sons do not follow you in your ways. Appoint for us then a king to govern us like other nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to govern us. And Samuel prayed to the Lord and the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to the voice of the people in all that they say to you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me from being king over them. Just as they have done to me from the day I brought them out of Egypt to this day, forsaking me and serving other gods, so also they are doing to you. Now then, listen to their voice. Only you shall solemnly warn them and show them the ways of the king who shall reign over them. So Samuel reported all the words of the Lord to the people who were asking him for a king. He said, These will be the ways of the king who will reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them to his chariots to be his horsemen and to run before his chariots. And he will appoint for himself commanders of thousands and commanders of fifties and some to plough his ground and reap his harvest and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will take your daughters to be perfumers and cooks and bakers. He will take the best of your fields and vineyards and olive orchards and give them to his courtiers. He will take one-tenth of your grain and of your vineyards and give it to his officers and his courtiers. He will take your male and female slaves and the best of your cattle and donkeys and put them to his work. He will take one-tenth of your flocks and you shall be his slaves. And in that day you will cry out because of your king whom you have chosen for yourselves, but the Lord will not answer you in that day. But the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel, and they said, No, but we are determined to have a king over us, so that we also may be like other nations, and that our king may govern us and go out before us and fight our battles. When Samuel heard all the words of the people, he repeated them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, Listen to their voices and set a king over them. <coughs> Samuel then said to the people of Israel, Each of you return home. A Song of the Covenant from Isaiah I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord and have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Our second reading is taken from Luke chapter 21. Then he told them in a parable, Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they sprout leaves, you can see for yourself and know that summer is already near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I tell you, the generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Be on guard that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life. And that day does not catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Every day he was teaching in the temple, and at night he would go out and spend the night on the Mount of Olives, as it was called. And all the people would get up early in the morning to listen to him in the temple. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You promised, O God, to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us. prayers today 
We think of those tasks that we have to do throughout this day. And we ask our Lord God to be with us, to protect us and to assist us. To have the right words for those who want us to help them. And to recognise the right deeds that we should do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the whole world and its needs. Food, water, and the ability to live in peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for the church. We pray for our Archbishop, our Bishop, our Archdeacon, our Area Dean, and our own Rector, the Reverend Joe Richards. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We've been asked to pray especially today for local government and community leaders, both those elected, those in, uh, appointed, and those who just naturally become leaders within the community. Imbue them with wisdom and the right ethical understanding of their responsibilities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We recognise all those who provide local services, <coughs> be they civil servants or volunteers. Strengthen them, Lord, as they go about their daily task in support of the community. We recognise especially those who are working with the young or the elderly. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We recognise, Lord, the schools, the colleges, and especially in this city, the universities, the work that they do for future generations and the difficulties they face in this present pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And finally, in this cycle of prayer, Lord, we recognise the emergency and rescue organisations, the important work they do, the danger that they place themselves in. And we ask you to be alongside them as they go about their business in support of all of us in this community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as pass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love toward you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Uh, the, there will be a service this evening at 7 o'clock of Night Prayer and Compline. And I will also conduct services tomorrow, morning prayer, night prayer and Compline. And our rector, the Reverend Joe Richards, will be returning and she will be presenting a Eucharistic service on Sunday. Have a lovely day today and I hope I'll see you this evening. Bye for now.